The ACE and North Inlet Winyan Bay NERS are continuing their collaborative research stemming from a recent marsh capacity building project that identified the need for assessing salt marsh vulnerability in the face of sea level rise at local scales. Many marsh vulnerability assessment metrics have been developed at a variety of scales. However, questions remain with regard to comparability of various metrics, their specific applicability to South Carolina salt marshes, and at what scales they apply. The project aims to improve our understanding of the various metrics at a variety of scales for South Carolina. We're also seeking input from researchers in North Carolina and Georgia due to the similarity of our salt marsh systems in the hopes that the results are relevant to the Southeast region. In addition, we're working with local communities and coastal managers in South Carolina to identify which metrics and at which spatial scales they are of most use. Several workshops will be held throughout the year long project to update stakeholders and adjust the project's outputs to meet their needs. Our team plans to use the ACE and North Inlet Winyah Bay NUR wetland monitoring sites as two focus areas within South Carolina. We will assess the metrics of interest chosen at three scales with the focus on the surrounding areas at our two NUR wetland monitoring sites. We'll first look at a fine scale using the plot level data, medium scale using unmanned aerial system or drone derived aerial imagery that we'll collect using defined marsh areas following protocols produced from the recent Drone the Swamp Catalyst project, and a core scale using satellite and manned aircraft derived aerial imagery. This assessment will allow us to evaluate how the selected marsh vulnerability metrics perform across different scales of data resolution and spatial extent. The completed assessment will be used to develop a summary guide for marsh vulnerability methodologies for South Carolina salt marshes. This guide will outline the findings of this focus study, including appropriate metrics based on scale of interest, any necessary adjustments to the Drone the Swamp UAS flight specifications, and additional data inputs that can be used to improve vulnerability metrics. This is an important step in better understanding our salt marsh systems in the southeast using existing data and metrics at the two NERG focus areas. Not only will this project help strengthen the collaboration between our two South Carolina NERS, it will also strengthen our connection with local and regional stakeholders, enhancing our ability to provide support to local communities.